What's up guys, Black Hole Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the 6th stage of Paris-Nice between Pigny and Brignol, um, a sprint stage with some hills uh, at the end and descent towards the finish, uh, so maybe we'll be able to do something about it. Um, if you haven't watched the previous stages, please go ahead and do so. Um, if you've seen like the first 3 sprint stages, you know I've been able to do some things. Um, with Monaco Snefroy, I don't know if we're going to be able to. Uh, looks like a breakaway stage, so maybe we'll be able to send someone in the break. Um, if Jonathan Iver goes in the breakaway, obviously I'll follow him with Michael Cherel uh, in our quest for the Polkota jersey. Um, but yeah, yellow jersey is currently uh, hold, held sorry, by Michal Kutkowski. Bob Jungholz, Michael Matthews, Tony Galopin is the top four. Barda is 145 behind Michal Kutkowski. We're gonna try and we're gonna have to do bits uh, in the Col de Tyrrhenie tomorrow stage. Uh, but without further ado, let's just jump into the race and see what we can do. All right, beginning of the stage uh, in uh, in Pigny. Probably not going to be the most interesting stage uh, ever, but at least like we have we're gonna have some hills. Uh, let's just try and see uh, what's gonna happen for the break. Uh, there's an attack. Is Jonathan Iver following? He doesn't look like he is. So we're gonna stand the peloton with uh, with Michael Cherel. All right, Tony Galopin can uh, stay as well here. Uh, we've got Galopin on a plus two, Kusnev on a minus one. So that's not the best. Uh, Body on a zero. Uh, I'm hoping that he's on a good day tomorrow. I really am hoping that he can do something. Matthias Frank is gonna stay. All right, so we have a breakaway uh, with eight riders. Well. Four, two groups of four, soon to be one group of eight. We've got Victor de la Parte for CCC, we've got Reto Hollenstein for Katusha, we've got Emmanuel Arviti for Movistar, we've got Kevin Reza for Vital Concept. In the second group, we've got uh, Axel Kirch for Sigafedo, we've got Heinrich Hausler for Bahrain, uh, we've got Lars Back for Dimension Data, and we've got Julien Alfares for Delco Marseille. Uh, we're gonna let the breakaway go and uh, see what we can do. Okay, uh, we've got 14 kilometers left. Stage has been absolutely dull. Nothing happened. We've got one guy that's been dropped uh, before, like this little climb. Uh, it was Chris, Chris Beckman's for um, shit for Vital Concept. And then some guy got dropped, uh, like Stan Vandenberg, for example. I was not aware of that. Breakaway is two minutes ahead, uh, so it might compete for the win. Um, we're gonna try and like pace it down. Um, I'm scared that I have to use Bardet for the train. Because um, ne Neufroy, Franck and Cheryl are a bit down uh, the peloton. Uh, who's attacking? That's Magnus Court Nielsen for Astana. Right, Bardet is going to pace for a bit. Um, but I think the breakaway is going to try and get the win. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I even said in the intro it looks like a breakaway stage. Yet I didn't send anyone. Absolutely brilliant. I hate myself. Okay, um, so the win's gonna be ahead. Um, Axel, uh, Alex Kirch, still taking relays. That's very naive of you. Um, Heinrich Hausler seems to be the best sprinter. Or Kevin Reza, actually. Can we get a first French dub uh, on the tour? It's gonna be tough. Axel, uh, Alex Kirch in the descent, leading towards uh, towards Brignol. And yes, the uh, rider from Luxembourg is gonna take the dub. Uh, Heinrich Hausler takes second place, Reto Allenstein takes uh, third. Lars back, Julian Fares, Kevin Reza, Victor de la Porte, and Emmanuel Arviti uh, complete the the, uh, the order. Galopin and Nazan will uh, be 9 and 10th, respectively. I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, I guess there's been a. Oh, there's been a, a. I forgot the word. English! Uh, echelons, there we go. Uh, but I don't think that's gonna count because it's a flat stage according to PCM. Uh, only guys dropped, no one interested. No interesting, sorry. Nope, no one. I'll see you on the podiums. It's a win for Alex Kirch, uh, the I'm gonna guess Luxembourgish rider from uh, Trek Sigafredo, who, uh, well, he was leading three kilometers to go um, and stayed ahead. So props to him. Uh, the descent helped, obviously, because in PCM you can't overtake in descent, apparently. Um, yellow jersey doesn't, like, GC doesn't change at all. Kit Corsier is still in yellow. Jonathan Iver is still uh, in the Polkadot jersey with Kevin Reza and Reto Hillenstein. 
making an appearance in the top 10. Caleb Ewan uh, sees in green only one point ahead of Dylan Rönnewegen. So that's going to be an interesting fight to watch. Uh, Miguel André Lopez stays in the white. The best team stays uh, à la mondiale, even though Baron Murray there is now 6 seconds uh, behind us. Uh, I think that's helped, uh, that's thanks, sorry, to Henry Hausla. And yeah, Gallopin doesn't. No gaps here. Was there a gap? I think 60 riders? Nope, no gaps. Okay. So, uh, if you enjoyed this stage, uh, please leave a comment down below and like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be this stage, the Col de Turini. So that's going to be a, a, like a once to watch. You don't want to miss out on this stage. So please make sure that you're subscribed and you've got notifications on. Uh, because it can be a shit show. Bardé is here to win. Will we sh uh, house a win? I don't know. Um, but yeah, you'll have to see that uh, if you're subbed to the channel. Um, but yeah, I've been Blackwall. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye.